Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a new fighter showcase. Today we're going to be playing with the Ream, Mr. Alistair Overeem. Ah, everyway, now Overeem has a lot of weapons. He has a lot of tools in his arsenal. He has guillotines to finish the fight. He's got knees in the clinch to finish the fight. And of course he's got kicks and punches on the stand up to finish the fight. As well as a few things like flying knees, you know, so like distance closing, high value, high damage moves that can like end a fight when you need to end a fight so it's good it's nice uh, if we take a look at the perks here razor wire so knees and elbows you've got switch kicks um and roundhouse kicks with crazy legs so you've got some strikes set up to be a little bit faster than others i, I would have liked the front kick on him because he uses it a bit but i guess that you know they want to put other perks in there light glue um it makes it easier to get that single collar tie clinch on the feet which will be a strategy you might have to use i certainly will be using it in this video i'm sure uh Improved submission defense in top positions, that's just a nice a little bonus, but at this division, there's no one you need to worry about off their back. Maybe Vadum on the Gera, but that's not really going to happen. DC and Jones aren't going to sub you off their back, so you don't have to worry about that. It's kind of a pointless perk, really. I mean, I get why they gave it to him, but in this division, it's pointless. I mean, like, why, why even have it? Um, anyway, stand up, five star. Look at that, five star. Punch big power is actually enough to contend with pretty much everybody, right? Not that you should be trading in the pocket, but you can. And you have 99 accuracy, which I have found previously to be fantastic. You don't even realize, but you just nail shots. You nail shots when moving backwards and stuff, like the lead uppercut while moving backwards is a nice technique I like to use on Mr. Ream. Footwork 97, no one's going to be out and moving you in this division, which is very, very nice. 89 head movement's not great, by the way, in the block is less than favorable so you, you kind of got to use that footwork that's your defense with overeem is your footwork it's not blocking and head movement it's your footwork that's your defense the switch stance is quite nice if you want to land leg kicks you can match their stance if you're trying to get away from their big right hand you can switch to opposite go southpaw work some kicks to the body the, but the outside leg kick is what you're going to use because a heavyweight there's no way you can land the inside leg kick from southpaw before like some of these people just get to you with a one two like you can you can land it if they're going backwards but you, you can't like catch them with it on the way in or hit them from a stationary target. It just feels too dangerous. So the 99 switch stance helps. Kick power speed, 97, 97. That is very high. Probably the highest in the division. So yes, we, you've got to kick as well. Come on. Takedowns 88 should be a little higher, I think. Not to give Reem more stats, but he, he's got pretty good takedowns. He takes loads of people down. Like 90 maybe. Four and a half star anyway. Submission off defense 93, submissions at 90, still high enough to get the clinch striking though, 97. Look at that, look at that. You do want to get in on that one. Only four star uh, health because I guess the chin's not great. That's that's the thing obviously with Overeem. It's hit and not get hit. Use everything you can, move, hit, run, hide, all that jazz. Recovery 90 is not great either, uh, but here we've got five star guillotines. So you do have subs to win the game with as well as five star uh, clinch knees everywhere body head legs everywhere the muay thai combinations i mean that's kind of, kind of okay at five star but you don't really need anything else anyway that's mr ream let's get some fights all right here we go uh first matchup is a brook lesnar i like this this isn't too bad we've got to just remain calm stay patient the takedown's gonna come when the takedown comes let's not panic all right we're, we're not gonna panic we're going to have to just slowly work our way back to the feet. We're going to take no risks on the ground and just look for get-ups. So at the start, though, leg kicks, low kicks, all the kicks mix up. A lot of the lead body kick as well, if I can land it. Got the side kicks, plenty of feints as well. as We've got heavy hands as well. I don't really need to be jabbing a heavyweight, I feel like. Just more about timing and mixing everything up. Wow, okay, there it is. Nice, wow, okay. So I faked that as well. Let's try and just work our way slowly back up from here. Ah, I was literally waiting for it as well. So it's going alternative. So that's actually not gonna be that hard to stop. If I can get the pattern for it, let's just test his ground game anyway. Oh, he's useless. I mean, not useless, but he ain't great. There we go. Nice sweep. Easy peasy, that. Now that it's just working from top. alistair has got some pretty good ground and pound. We've actually seen a lot of it quite recently in some of his more recent fights, right? Okay, he's, he's framing hooks, so I should probably just go for some straights here. He'll go double shot transition, maybe, something like that. I'm just going to try and get the, uh, the G out and get some significant, or just some strike advantage, basically. Because if he's had a bit more top control than me, 
I want to make sure I'm getting the strike advantage. Because these will all count as strikes landed. Okay, right. I should really just throw two hooks and then go straights. Just like that. Let's just keep passing. I'll try and take side control even here. Now, this wasn't exactly how I anticipated this fight going. But this guy is not great, so... Okay, he can get that. I'd rather do this and work the body, to be honest. And there's the cage get up. All right. Let's just get out of here. I actually don't mind clinching if we can clinch him a little bit. But we don't need to do it. The takedown's going to come as well. There it is. Wow, look at the drive on that. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, my God. Look how much it hurt my body as well. It's like, those slams are just a nice, legit little way to do some body damage there. Okay, I do have to kind of still respect this ground game. Oh, throw that in there. 45 seconds, but chuck it in there. All right. Maybe give me some positive control time towards the end of the round. Those two takedowns are good. Stop the slam. And just get a gauge of his submission defense here. Which isn't terrible. Oh, I flattened him out, though. Which is good for me. All right. I kind of like how that round ended, because he did get that takedown, rather than spend too much stamina working my way to the feet. I had to uh, hit a few subs. That wasn't too bad. I didn't really land much. I had some good top control, though. Okay, apparently I'm not tired. Let's see how he's doing. We landed a few inside leg kicks. Uh, and then I think maybe something... I think some teeps to the body would be good. Really, I just need to be really careful of this takedown. It's rare that I'm not able to stop someone from taking me down. So we're going to have to deal with that or try and find ways to make that happen for us. Wow. And here comes the takedown. There it is. Ready for it, though. Oh, wow. You know when you're, like, respect thinking about the takedown too much, you just lose sight of the striking? That's basically what just happened. Okay. Okay, we're going to be okay here. We're just going to mix a bunch of this stuff up still. Here comes the takedown again. Watch those straight shots. It's a nice leg kick. We need to start mixing everything up here a little bit as well, I think. Will definitely help. Take down. He makes it really obvious. I mean, he didn't throw one then. Whenever he creates that much space, though, he's really looking for it. Just trying to mix everything up a little here. Oh, I thought that was a crane kick. Jesus. Oh. And there's the head kick right there. I, I'm surprised he didn't take me down there. Let's go southpaw for a little bit here. And try and land some body shots. Like that. i got to be real careful trying to sit on that. And I'm trying to snipe him a little bit. I think definitely some front kicks would help. Like that is open all day, I swear. Let's just try to connect him with that. Oof. Nice check. There's another one. Do I have a question mark? No. I must have a crane kick. No, it's just a head kick. No, it's a rear kick. Fucking hell. Alright. Just really trying to outthink him. I don't mind heavyweight because it's so slow. You know? I think the system really shines. You can, like, you know, really plan everything you want to do. Next time I'll go from a trip from there. Let me just try and get some of these knees to the body in. There we go. The same way that, you know, Alistair beat Brock. Next time he's in that close as well. So he finishes with the takedown. I must here hit a sprawl and goes... Uh, I thought that was a get up. My bad. That's not good. I honestly thought he was going to swap sides. 
I'm just going to try and pressure him a little bit right here. Oh, the stamina's still low. I want to get some more of these knees going. Oof. Oh! Man, he hit so hard. I really thought I would be wearing him out, but I'm not. Uh, oof. I keep saying thanks. All right. I do need to be aware of that takedown now, but he has hit me a lot, and I've got a pretty terrible chin as Alistair, so let's just go southpaw again. Try and circle a little bit more to the right-hand side. Look at him slip, trying to slip that front kick, and really just look for our opportunities. Because every time I throw, he's just trying to beat me to the punch, basically, which I'm just having real trouble. It's always a one-two as well. Not allowed, but he has raised the Bam. Hey. Nice I mean, it's all one-two with him. There we go. It's in there. Ah, man. I just can't seem to beat the speed of it, to be honest. Even there, I tried to slip it, and I couldn't beat the speed of it. And I don't want to, like, trade, you know? Lead hooks there. Really, I'm just trying to snipe him a little bit here. The problem is, I feel like my body keeps keep getting taken away because of how much he's moving forwards into me, you know? Let's get some more of these knees. Ooh. Okay, yes, we got him to the cage, good. There, this is what we want. I went quiet there for a moment. I mean, I'm blocking. Oh, I'm not actually blocking. Just nice and slow it, slow it down a little. I feel like the body's hurt and he knows it. There's a takedown. Mm, stop that one. Ah, I really thought I couldn't get one to the head in there as well. I just really hate how he just walks forward with that one two. Ah, oh, that teep. Wow, that teep was so close. Watch the posture up. I just went for the posture up denial. Yeah, I didn't know if I'd be able to get that. Oh, wow. I kind of bucked out of there real quick as well. He's going to go straight back into it, I bet. Alright. That wasn't too bad for me. Wow. Alright. We got that. Final. Wow, man. Oh, no, I'm up. I was going to say, 30 seconds left. And he's just spamming takedowns. Dude's just driving. Ah, tough fight, man. I don't know if I did enough. I don't know if I did enough. Guy was good. It was really hard to stop those takedowns. No, no, it wasn't about the takedown game, Manic. Damn it. I might leave that one in there anyway. It's the first fight. Let's leave it in there. Oh well, we lost. The kryptonite of Overeem. It was a good fight. I tried. Maybe I started a little too slowly. And his 1-2 was really fast. Like, he was a lot faster than I thought. So maybe some fakes would have brought him out a little bit. But he kept it in such a distance that if he saw me look to initiate any kind of offense, he just went 1-2 right down the middle. Which made it really hard to kick and do anything. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's look at them stats there, boys and girls. I like the fight. It was a good fight. Do, do, do. I haven't got many games in this season, guys. I think I've got about 20 fights this season, so get my rank up. So I did outstrike him, and the total strikes are very similar. And I even had more control than him. Wow. But I guess because he stunned me twice, he snuck those rounds away. Mm. The takedowns, obviously, 
Well, six of them. So that first round, two takedowns. See, I, I had more control, total strikes and significant strikes, but more takedowns for him was very close. Round two, more significant strikes for me. But yeah, the, well, he, he actually landed more than I did as well. I kind of got caught up in that. And the final round as well. More significant, but more total for him as well. He also threw a lot more than me in that final round. He threw a lot more than me overall, but what can he do? All right, let's get another one in. Okay, and we've got another one. Right, Mr. Ream once again. Yes, need to take advantage of that skirmisher, don't we? The knees from standing good as well, which our clinch striking is 97, so we've got a lot of tools. All right, and Garnu, I like it. We have a lot of tools that we want to be taking advantage of. Um, I think the key in this, I, I almost prefer, prefer losing the first one so we can sort of learn where the right, weaknesses of Overeem are and how we've got to adjust and then try and adjust for the next couple. Um, I just got to be careful. I, I know he's going to try and hit me really, really hard. So I almost want to do nothing for the first round. I almost want to grapple for the first round. Overeem's grappling a little. He's been getting some great tank downs. Let's just take him down for the first round. Like, be passive. Maybe throw leg kicks and cover and retreat. Um, match his stance to land the outside leg kick and just not like try and exchange with him at all and then just shoot some takedowns right like here you know oh that's not bad Ooh. and we got the outside trip as well nice I almost thought he was going to roll to sprawl then. I don't know why he didn't. Here we go. I'm just going to keep him here and just punish. That's it. Punish. I don't care about these significant strikes right now. Okay. That was my bad because sometimes I leave with a... A 1-2. Okay. Okay. I leave with a 1-2. Okay. We should be fine there. This time we'll leave with the hooks. Right. Okay. Nice shots to the body. Keep on pumping it. Deny to the side. We can just fake again. Oh, we're going to be careful of that. That is very strange. Though. He's doing the far side back sit, but I feel like he's pulling it all the way through. I should be fine here. Just be patient. Just wait. I really wanted to stop the posture up, but I couldn't. I mean, look at this distance he's trying to cover, right? I'm really just trying to get out of the way of him here. And I need to throw to the body. Like that. Oof. I really don't want to be in here too long. Exchanging. Uh, oh, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to meet his boxing combinations with mine. Like, I'll throw knees up the middle. Oh, oh. Oh. There we go. In and out, in and out. I'm making good use of it. Head kick. Hey. Was in range. Oof. I like how he's taunting me. Like, fight me, bro. It's like, you really think I'm just going to fight you? You're in <laughs> fucking Francis and Garno, bro. Come on, I keep circling this way. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was so hard to stop there. I've got to watch out for these knees here as well. These are really going to hurt. Can we get moving, please? Wow. Yes, I can't protect that. Ooh. All right, got to take him down. Um, I guess I just was moving my head too much. This is why I didn't want to box with him, right? I planted for a second. He put me down. Wow, they did a lot of damage. I gotta be really careful for us to fight. I think I really, really gotta look for this uppercut now, though. I'm gonna go southpaw and just try and look for this uppercut or something else. Oh, 
stops to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes in. Like, that's, that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> I, I, like it's, I think it's just the smartest thing to do. Oh shit! Oh fuck! It hit so hard. Come on! Oh my god! The crowd's going crazy. All right, I'm a sub him. I'm a sub him. We're gonna choke him. No. Wow. Wow. Run the single straight away. I'm just not having many more of this. I don't have an arm triangle. I've only got an arm bar. I need to like catch him in a guillotine or something. There we go. That'll do. Oh wow. I'm just trying to match his pattern, which he is changing right now. Yeah, he, he's being really erratic with it. It's very hard to track. It's going to be hard to finish this. Wow, I can't believe he denied that. Oh wait, I've got the freaking guillotine, what am I doing? Yes, yes! Please God, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give God, this tiny bit of lag really is horrible. Oh, come on, how can I not stay on that? Ah, I can't believe I can't stay on that. I don't know if it's the lag, but I'm like, I'm much better than this, man. Come on. Right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Go for another one. Fuck it. I've got to learn the timing on this. I think it's the lag. Because I see him move and then I can't move at the same time. It's just been real tough to track this guy down. Real tough. Real, real tough. Dude. I really want to sub him, especially that gear team. I don't think I can. Ugh. Ugh. I just can't hurt him. I feel like I'm wearing him out a little bit, but not a lot. I've got to protect everything now. Can't get anywhere near him. Can't get anywhere near him. All right. Oh yeah, he's not even tired, man. Oh, lovely. Lovely lead hook. Let's go for the finish. Wow. Good head movement as well. All right. New plan. Ground and pound. Oh no. <laughs> right, I'm sweeping him this time. Oof. Don't I have like flying knees? No, I've got big knees, not flying knees. Oof. Oh. 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 Oh, what happened to the clinch? Oh God. Uh, give me. Oh dear. Oh, there it is. There it is. Come on. Give me. 
to control posture. But you gotta wow, be look at him go. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the Oh, dude, I couldn't. I couldn't even pound that one out. He's so fast with that transition from there. Come on, come on. It's all about who wins this first round if I can't put him out of here right now. Wow. This guy's fairly good in the ground, like. Hey. All right, he's got no stamina. Let's go. I want him up. I want him up. Oh. Oh. Hey. Nice finish. Man, so we tried to wrestle him, then we tried to sub him, but then we got the TKO at the end. Love it. All right, we got it. Well done, everyone. Well played, everyone. I tell you what, this game's hard. I mean, UFC 3. I mean, I'm a game changer. I'd like to think I'm good at this game. But there's a lot of good... You guys are all really good. Like, you guys are all really, really good. I mean, I try to fight, like, it's, you know, mixed martial arts. I'm not trying to, like, combo spam or take advantage or something. I don't know. But, like, you know, you guys are good, man. That guy was good. What a great fight. Really used uh, uh, Garner. Great takedown defense. He was scary. Like, capitalized on, on like, situations. Got it done, though. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, I love it. All right, guys. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Let's go. All right. We're going to get another one. JDS this time. This is going to be tough. It's going to be real tough, 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 tough. Because, well, one thing, we're on yellow ping again, which I don't like. I mean, I just, I don't thrive in that situation. It makes everything harder. You know, it makes subs harder. It makes a bunch of stuff harder. A lot of, some players, like high-level players, say that they can right, adapt, next, which you can. Because everything just has to, you have to have just your brain to input and everything early. But like subs become so hard, man. Just like a couple of different things. But anyway, who's going to complain about that? Not me. Win, lose, or draw. I don't mind. We had one loss in a close fight. And then a, win, a victory against a tough Ngannou. Now we've got a JDS. I like the variety of opponents we've had. Let's just have a good fight. I'm going to try and do some leg kicking on that lead leg. But I'm just so cautious about what it is, what it is he's going to do. In the, as he pushes forward. Okay, that's is all good, just pinpoint striking so far. I almost went into that. Oof. Oh, there's a knee. Ah, wow, I can't believe he caught that. I should have up kicked. How is that not framing that? Oh man, I could have got up as well. Okay, that was pretty bad from me. Let's see what he does. Let's try and sweep him. Oh, we got it. Nice. It was a good takedown by him. Okay. That's good. Good ground and pound. He's doing a lot of fakes. There it is. Oh, as if he got it. Nice job by him. Backs it this time. I don't think he'll stop the transition to mount. He did. Wow, okay. There we go. Nice sweep again. That was a lovely sequence, wasn't it? Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. Let's do some damage. We've got to do some damage. Like we're in top position, we have to take advantage of significant strikes. He's not doing a very good of like covering up. Alright, I'm gonna go one, two down the middle this time. Okay, that's good too. Nice. Oh, he's got that. All right. Be careful here. 
He's not really impressed me from the bottom. In fact, I don't even remember how he swept me. He did it. Oh, yeah, he swept me from half guard. Okay. I know he uses that fake to set something up, so I'm just going to bust right through it. There we go again. That's nice as well. More damage. I mean, this is this is why I, I'd address the, the stamina drain from ground and pound. Because it feels like... Like, I did a lot of damage there. Well, I haven't actually lost that much ground and pound. Okay, that, all that stamina, I should say. That's all right. Interesting first round. I feel like I did all right on the feet, especially at the start of the round, but he was trying to get the range and the distance on me. I didn't really land those leg... I landed a couple of leg kicks. Boom. Like, that's a nice one right at the start. Got to be careful, because the guy didn't really do much, which kind of scares me, because it feels like, okay, he's good, right? A bad JDS player is trying to just kill you as soon as the bell goes, right? The fact he didn't do much is kind of like, okay, I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried about what he's going to do to me now. Like what he's got left in the tank. That's not where I want to be, right? That's me being silly and just trading. Oh, it's a nice knee as well. Oh, close. That was a nice by him right there. I don't really like those. Oh. Oh. All right. We're jabbing those through nicely. Hey, got another one in. There's a nice front leg push kick. Oh, yeah, nice. Hey, now it's an inside, so it's a bit harder to land. Alright, I can fake a little better, better from here, though. Whoa, didn't like that. Oh! Ow, I went into that. Oh, dude, I don't like this. It's clinch. Let's just try and turn him a little bit here. Man, I can't. That does work nicely, though. Oh, man, I can't believe he stayed in there for that, right? Oh, silly Billy. All right. Nearly done, if not done. To the body now. One to the head. Oh, nice. Right, I'm going to go back to orthodox. Back to the leg. Okay, he did... I think he realized he did a lot better when he uh, was backing me up. There's a nice one. Switch. Uh, I just, like, hate how sometimes I can't, like, stop him. So I just stand there and I'm like, okay, I'm going to eat whatever he's going to throw at me. I got the knee in there just about. Wow. Oh. Oh, that was nice by him. Okay, I keep moving out, though. I keep circling out of that situation. I just can't stop him from coming forward. Look at this. I'm trying to. That's another one. Oh. Head. It's going to the body as well. It'll take down instead. Why not? 15 seconds left. All right. Let's go a little... No, I didn't get it. Nice control on the post drop. All right. Good work by him. All right, guys. All right, now, third and final. That's my round, baby. We beat the shit out of him. Oh, look at that. Bloodied up JDS. Look at this driving knee. God. Okay, that's a bit unrealistic, that ragdoll. It looked like he got hit with, like, a barren ram or something. His head went flying. I guess that's like a level 5 move, though. Which is pretty intense. Overeem's got a lot of really, really good weapons. Like, everywhere. He's got ways to finish the fight everywhere. Ah, okay, yeah. I don't really want to be doing a lot of these. Wow. That would have done so much damage as well. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. I don't know why I keep doubling up. I feel like that is block it, breaking the block a little bit. Oh! There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh! I don't like that at all. Oof! There's another one. Oh! 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 Ah! Went for the big finish. All right, no time for the big finish, guys. Oh wow, he really wanted to trade right there. Oh. Oh. There it is. Oh, I can't believe that didn't KO him. I can't believe that didn't KO him. Nice, right hand to finish. Woo. Oh, oh, taking a stroll as we do. All right, Reem is the tits at heavyweight. If you can get him going, I feel like he's got enough close range weapons that if people try and crowd you, you can fight out of it a little bit. But because it's heavyweight, when you counter someone, it does so much more damage than like, say Easy would do. Like if someone's pressuring you like that and you're playing Israel Adesanya, you can't always like hit people hard enough to stop them. We tried though, and damn, we put him out cold as well. All right, look at that though. All right, guys, that's how I've been using Overeem though. It's been a good time. I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you very much. And let me know who you want to see next. And hell yeah, that's 10K as well in the bank. So cool, cool. The 10K subs, boy. That's what I mean by in the bank. Anyway, take care. See you in the next one. Peace.